What's your name? Christina Carthos Davis. You're the defendant's daughter. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come. Call the other lady, you can't. No, it's okay, I'm just gonna go. Mr. Carthos, you have been warned repeatedly to stay in your seat. I'm sorry, Your Honor. This is my daughter. And this is a court of law, and you will act accordingly. One more step out of line, I will find you in contempt. I don't, I don't want to fight. I just, I honestly can't believe you sided with that guy. Uh, I did not side with Ethan. You refused to say that you thought Christina was telling the truth. That guy deserves to be thrown in prison, and you're practically defending no, I'm him. I'm just saying you're too close to this to be a... No, 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 no. Don't okay, do that I'm to me. I'm just saying, Sam, that this is a very emotional issue for you. Yes, it is. You bet it is. My little sister gets the crap beaten out of her, and she's so afraid to go to a trial that she has the charges against her attacker dropped. Come to find out, you don't believe her or me. Okay. You trust Christina because you're a loving I sister. I trust and that's... Christina because she's telling the truth. Why don't you get that? Because this goes beyond me believing that Christina's telling the truth. Sonny wants me to take somebody out until there's proof. I don't know what really happened. And neither do you. You swore to Mac that you would do this job to the best of your ability. With no special treatment for Sonny or his family. But look at you now. You shoved me against the wall for talking to your newfound brother. Keep talking to those Corinthos kids, I'll turn you in for protecting a serial killer. Hey, hey, that's, that's out of line. Hey, you know what, you do your job, that's cool, I don't have a problem with that, but you, you don't take advantage of those kids. Hey, I would never take advantage of a kid. Okay, I was doing my job. And for the record, I didn't protect Franco because I'm a bad cop. I did it because I have a personal relationship with him, which is a kiss a death for a cop. You want to be a good brother to Morgan? You want to be a, a good son to your mom, boss, father? Go ahead. But you can't be a good cop at the same time. Hey! Hey! This is a surprise. <laughs> Are they moving you to a different room? Actually, I have decided to check myself out. I'm going home. Have you talked this over with your doctors? Not specifically, but they've all acknowledged that I'm a lot stronger than I was when I first got here. Doesn't mean you're ready to leave. <sighs> I'm going to continue with my outpatient therapy. It's not the same thing, Lizzie. I'm fine. I'll be fine. I promise. I'm sorry I didn't call you and give you a heads up. <sighs> I'm not doing a very good job of talking you out of this, am I? I know that you care about me, and I love you for that. But now that I know who the baby's father is, I just need to move on with my life. Leaving affects the baby, too. Shouldn't the father get some input? Epiphany, could you give these to Dr. Weber and inform him that the board was unable to reach a decision? You were in there for two hours straight, and you couldn't come to a decision? What were you doing in there? Playing tiddlywinks? Oh, gee, I wish I thought to bring some. Tracy, the only reason you showed up there is to snipe about my family. Here's an idea. How about sniping on your own time and not the hospitals? All right, look, I kept quiet about what Ethan did to Christina, but the truth is I'm living about it. That makes two of us. But you and Luke insist on defending him. Luke is. I'm reserving judgment. The situation may be damning, but that girl is unstable. We can't take her word as gospel. Why would she lie about something like I that? I don't know, Nicholas. Why don't you ask her? Tracy, the most damaging thing you could do to a person that's been abused is claim that you don't believe them. Oh, silly me. And here I was thinking how damaging it might be to Ethan if her father killed him. I'm sure that Luke made an arrangement with Sonny, otherwise Ethan would already be dead. Why don't we look on the bright side? All of this mess definitely took the focus off the fact that you got your brother's fiance pregnant. Oh I'm sorry, weren't we discussing Ethan? Yes, and you were on your high horse, even though there's no real proof that he's guilty. You, however, did cheat and lie for months. <laughs> Tracy, I'm not proud of what I did, but it can hardly be compared to attacking a teenage girl. Except that Ethan might be innocent. Well, we all know what, what Luke did to my mother. I'd say that uh, violence runs in the family, wouldn't you? 
in the Cassidyne family, not the Spencer family. Uh, Epiphany, have you seen Tracy? I would think twice before you showed your face around here anymore. Oh, there she is. Tracy, hey, I'm glad I found you. I'll take that as my cue to leave. Would be advised, although the charges against you have been dropped, nothing is forgiven and nothing will ever be forgotten. Ignore him, he's prone to gothic drama. Yeah, well, he's not alone. I mean, even people who don't want me fitted for cement shoes don't believe me. It's funny, you know, when I finally feel like I have family and friends here, it all gets blown apart with one single lie. Well, your father's standing by you, and I am keeping an open mind. Well, I appreciate that. But I'm never going to get out from under this. You know, I think it's probably time for me to leave Port Charles for good. <laughs> Money? Sweetie, what happened? I went to the courthouse. Yeah? Oh. It's Dad's trial. Baby, why would you do that now? I don't know. I just... I wanted to see what it was like. Oh. And... And see what the witnesses had to say about him, but... I never expected that... All right. What happened? So, so the prosecutor questioned someone? Who was it? Johnny was on the witness stand. Uh, and the prosecution got, got him to talk about Claudia, right? Johnny said that Dad abused Claudia throughout their whole marriage. That he called her names and that he even got rough with her and gave her bruises. And Dad just lost it. It was worse than the night that Claudia died and Diane tried to stop him, but Dad was just out of control. a pretty icky temper, okay? And, and it gets the best of them. <sighs> oh, sweetheart. Did he ever hit you? I know we've been through this. Christina says that Ethan came to her house right after you left and beat her up. But that's not possible because you went to the Hunter's Star no, and you had a fight with Ethan. It doesn't there. matter. She got her timing wrong. She had his skin under her fingernails. Uh, he didn't claim she scratched him when he picked her up to take her to the hospital. Oh, great story. He's got you fooled. Well, I'm just saying that it could be true and you have to take into account that Christina has lied before. Oh, come on. That is so unfair. Yes, every teenage girl occasionally lies. It doesn't mean when they're actually saying something serious, uh, you I, shouldn't believe that. I know, but I'm just saying that we're focused on Ethan. Maybe somebody else is involved here. We you need know what? I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't like, I feel like I'm getting sick to myself. Okay, Stomach here. okay. Uh, if, just if Christina is lying, it's got to be killing her inside. So if you can just calm down, for now, let Lucky follow up on this, and he's going to find out the truth no, one way or another. Fine, you're fine. If you need that, that's fine. I don't. The truth is what Christina says. That's it. <laughs>